what we're doing here is we're showing that it is possible to build communities in a different way. The project brings together some of the latest thinking and uh, cutting edge technologies and ideas as well uh, about sustainable living. Clough Jordan is a small village in the Irish countryside of County Tipperary. It's here that we find Ireland's first eco-village, a community based on sustainable principles. The eco-village has bought 27 hectares of land in the centre of Clough Jordan, with plans to build a community of 130 low-energy homes. Well, the eco-village is a pioneering project where a group of people came together 10 years ago to try to reduce their overall carbon footprint um, by building an ecological community, by looking at uh, how we build our houses, how we earn our living, how we grow our food, and how we move around, how, what our transport is. What we're trying to achieve here in the Clock Jordan Eagle Village is an idea of sustainable living uh, and sustainable lives. Uh, what's becoming very clear over the last few years is that there is no sustainable living or sustainable future, in fact, um, without addressing the critical problem of climate change. The citizens of the Eco Village are applying the principles of sustainability to all aspects of modern life. The homes are being built to high ecological standards, combining energy efficient design with locally sourced natural building materials. We have an ecological charter in the Eco Village, so we have a standard that we're trying to achieve in, in our building. Um, we're trying to use uh, materials that have low embodied energy, we're trying to use natural materials, we're trying to use lots of insulation. Um, we also have, as I said, we're facing south. Most of the houses face south to take the free energy from the sun. So we're trying to create um, you know, houses that have a minimum impact on, in, in, in their manufacture and also in their, in their, during their life. The material used in the construction of these houses is made out of hemp lime, one of the most sustainable building materials available today. Each house has its own rainwater harvesting system and uses heat from the hot water supplied by the community heating system. Well, energy is a very crucial um, objective um, and question for the Eco Village. Uh, at the moment, uh, for uh, hot water and for space heating, uh, all homes will be fed by a district heating system, uh, which is two wood chip boilers uh, and Ireland's largest uh, solar array uh, of solar panels. In time, our next big objective will be to generate our own electricity on site. The community's landscape design is based on the principles of ecological diversity. A tree nursery has been established to produce hundreds of trees for planting within the village. In addition, every household is entitled to a 100 square meter allotment. The idea with providing land for allotments um, is that people can grow their own food for those who want to. I have a 100 square metre allotment here and I'm very pleased with my, well, everything, beans, peas, potatoes, strawberries. We, you know, we can produce a lot here. The Eco Village has become an important factor in creating new jobs in the village of Clough Jordan. Regenerating the local economy has also led to demand for a variety of new shops. Well, we opened almost three years ago on the back of the Eco Village. Most of our business still is Eco Village orientated. About 70% of our business is, is based on the Eco Village. One of the best examples, actually, of rural regeneration that's not, not tied to the Eco Village in particular is the bicycle shop. Joe, who originally set up the bicycle, sh bicycle shop, yes, he did come here on the back of the Eco Village, but he, um, he came, he looked at the town, he said, there's lots of kids around and there's no bike shop. I'll open a bike shop. One of the other things that's happened since that shop has opened is there's a lot more people cycling in Clock Jordan, including local people who I never in a million years thought I would see on a bike. <laughs> Another initiative is the Clough Jordan Community Farm, established in partnership with the Eco Village. The farm has sheep, cows and pigs and organic crop production. The Community Farm is an initiative whereby people um, invest in a farm, they pay money up front to, to, to lease land, to pay a farmer and then they get the produce in return. The idea of the farm is to make top class, top quality food affordable. 
Uh, in our instance, we look for each family to pay 20 euro a week. In that, we have eggs, we have cereals, we have vegetables, we have uh, milk. 90% of what uh, we will need um, to eat uh, will come from the farm. It's only a 28 acre farm. Uh, and then we also take 12 acres in the eco village, so that makes up a 40 acre farm uh, in total. And basically, the food we produce here will only travel one kilometre into the town. Uh, in supermarkets today, food goes up to 3,000 miles. You know, so in that sense, uh, the whole emphasis is on local production and eating in season. So um, that that definitely is a big ecological factor. I think the Eco Village has already made a difference. Um, we've had huge interest over the last 10 years since the idea was born because people recognise that it is, it is an idea of its time. It is something that is showing how we can live in the future, how we can live more sustainably. Mm -hmm.